Hey, it's Dr. Koh here from Reset Ketamine and just wanted to share with you a very interesting study that was recently published. And this study had researchers give IV ketamine to sheep while the sheep had EEGs, electroencephalograms, placed on their brains. And the scientists were curious about what type of brainwave changes would be observed during the ketamine infusions. Now, of course, we don't know if these sheep had chronic pain or depression or PTSD, but what was fascinating was that at a certain dose, some of these sheep actually had complete cessation of EEG activity in their brains. This lasted a few moments. So what this means is that there was no electrical activity occurring on the brain. But before you get scared, just know that their hearts were beating normally, their vital signs were all being monitored, and the sheeps did recover just fine. But what's interesting about this study is this cessation of the electrical activity of the brain. So it made me think about the concept of a reset. And sometimes when our computers are acting buggy and slow and we have too many windows open, we have to turn it off or reset it, do a little control alt delete reset action. And when we do this, the computer will reset its processes, will kind of end the old programs that no longer are being actively used. And have you ever Ever notice sometimes we have that going on within ourselves we have these old stories these old habits these old conditioning that doesn't serve us so could it be possible that ketamine is actually resetting the brain and maybe it might not be happening on a global level where the entire brain shuts down but it is possible that there's, you know, aberrancies in these micro circuitry portions of the brain that are needing to be reset. And so, yeah, maybe ketamine is causing this to happen. Let me know what you think about this, if you have any questions or comments, and I will catch you next time.